let's discuss what is biasing there are three modes of operation of bjt they are saturation cut off and active so biasing is required to select any one of the mode of regions of operation now let's discuss the need for biasing the first need for biasing is to select operating point operating point is uh, nothing but uh, uh, the value of uh, collector current and its respective vce so while uh, selecting a particular ic and its vce we can select uh, uh, one of the regions of uh, operation of transistor saturation ya fir cut off ya fir active so operating point uh, uh, is uh, used to indicate the mode of regions of operation of bjt the second need for biasing is to maintain this operating point which is selected earlier and the th third need for biasing is to avoid thermal runaway now we will discuss what is thermal runaway in uh, short we know that ic current which is collector current is uh, related with beta ib where beta is the current gain of the transistor and ib is the base current of the transistor this is due to the majority charge carriers beta ib is due to flowing due to majority charge gauges if we consider the uh, current due to minority charges it is ico ico is the leakage current flowing in the reverse bias junction so in short ic is equal to beta ib plus ico now when ic increases when ic increases uh, in this relation ic is increasing so ib is also increasing and uh, with the uh, ic incre increase in ic the temperature of bjt also increases the temperature temperature of bjt increases uh, because as we know that uh, when uh, करंट जब भी ये कंडक्टर के थ्रू करंट फ्लो होता है तो वहां पे टेम्परेचर या ही, हीटिंग इफेक्ट इज सीन तो इसका मतलब ये है कि टेम्परेचर इज राइजिंग तो आईसी अगर बढ़ता है तो टेम्परेचर बढ़ेगा और टेम्परेचर इफेक्ट करता है माइनॉरिटी चार्जेस को तो व्हेन टेम्परेचर इज इंक्रीजिंग आईसीओ इज गोइंग टू इंक्रीज सो विद आईसीओ इंक्रीज the ic is also getting increased or ic badhte work temperature badhta hai to this uh, effect is ki ic badha to temperature badha temperature badha to ico badha aur ico badhne ki wajah se ic further badh jata hai to ye cumulative action itna zyada ho jata hai ki temperature goes so high that it can burn the bjt so this effect is known as thermal runaway this is thermal runaway there is no uh, saving of the bjt agar thermal runaway hota hai to bjt jal hi jata hai to uh, we have to uh, design a biasing circuit which avoid this thermal runaway this is a fixed bias circuit this is one of the technique of biasing a transistor this is the transistor collector is connected to rc this is a collector resistance base is connected to rb and emitter is grounded here emitter is directly grounded this point is given to vcc a uh, battery source is connected here the current through base is ib and current through i uh, collector is ic now we have to find the operating point here the operating point is given by uh, the value of ic and its respective vce 
So now we will try to find out what is the IC of the circuit and what will be its respective VCE. Now the, uh, voltage across these two points, base and uh, emitter ke beech mein jo voltage drop ho hai, junction mein it is known as VBE and VCE is the voltage between collector and the emitter of the transistor. So while calculating IC, I know IC is equal to beta IB. So first I need to calculate what is IB. To uh, know IB, I will apply KVL in the input loop. Now input loop is hai? VCC se start hoga through RB, RB ke through or base then to emitter say ground. So this will be the loop. We will be following and यहाँ पे मैं cable लगाऊंगी और cable मुझे मिलेगा VCC minus IB RB the voltage drop in RB minus the drop in the junction is equal to zero. So IB will be with this we can calculate IB. This is uh, the base current. Now I know what is IC. IC is beta IB. So I with this, I can calculate IC. IC I have calculated. Now I will apply KVL in the output loop. Ab output loop uh, will look like this. Our output loop is KVL from VCC se shuru karke through RC through the collector of the BJT and the emitter. We will make KVL equation. Banayenge. The equation will result here. This is my equation. This is my third equation. VCC minus ICRC drop in RC minus the drop in uh, voltage uh, between collector and emitter is equal to zero. From this, I know VCE is equal to VCC minus ICRC. Now I know VCC, I know IC, I know RC. I can calculate. VCE. So the second coordinate of the operating point we have calculated. So now we can say that मुझे operating point मालूम है इस circuit का. Let's see the second biasing technique that is fixed bias with emitter resistance. The circuit is just like fixed bias except. Uh, Resistance is connected in the emitter. The current through the base is IB. Current uh, through the collector is IC. And current in emitter is IE. VB is the voltage between the this point and this point which is the uh, base of the BJT and this is the emitter of this the B, BJT. VCE is the Voltage between this point that is the collector and this point which is the emitter. So we see is the voltage drop across this point. Now to find out the operating point again I have to calculate IC and VCE. IC calculate karne ke liye, I will calculate IB first. IB nikalne ke liye main input loop mein cable lagaonge. So the input loop will start from VCC, RB, base emitter, RE or ground. So the KVL which uh, I will write here will be the KVL will be VCC minus IB RB the voltage drop in RB VB is the junction drop and IE RE is the drop in RE. Now as we don't know IB and also we don't know I we will write IE in terms of IB. As we know IE is equal to IB plus IC but uh, IC is beta IB so IB same as it and IC ko humne replace kya hai beta IB se which is equal to IB in common 1 plus beta. So we replace this by uh, in uh, this equation therefore after replacing I by 1 plus beta IB I will get IB is equal to VCC minus VB upon RB plus 1 plus beta RE. So once we got IB, we can calculate IC which is beta 
IB. So we got IC now. Now we will apply KVN in the output loop to calculate the voltage VCE. Now the output loop will be VCC से शुरू होकर के collector resistance, collector, emitter, emitter resistance से ground. So the KVN we will write for this. So the KVN will be VCC minus ICRC minus VCE minus IRE is equal to zero. So VCE will be VCC minus ICRC minus IRE. So this is the VCE which we have obtained. So with this we know the operating point of a fixed bias with emitter resistance biasing. Let's see the collector to base bias. This is the third type of biasing of BJT. Now let's uh, uh, see the circuit diagram. In this uh, base resistance is connected to the base. The other terminal of base is directly connected to the collector. The battery is connected to the collector through RC. So the current flowing through RC will be IC plus IB because IC is the current here and IB is the current here. VBE is the drop between the junction and VCE is the drop in collector and emitter. To find the operating point we will calculate IB first. So I will apply KVL in the input loop starting from VCC, RC, RB, base and emitter to the ground. So the KVL I will write now. So the KVL will be this. Now IC and IB both are unknown. So I will convert this in terms of uh, IB first. So solving this equation IB will turn out to be this. Now we will calculate VCE after applying KVL in the output loop. The loop will be VCC say RC, RCC say collector, collector say emitter or say ground may. With uh, this KVL we can calculate VCE. As we know IB we can calculate IC which is equal to beta IB this is beta IB so with IC and VCE we can say that the operating point of this circuit we are aware of now let's see the potential divider biasing this is the potential divider bias there are two biasing resistance R1 and R2. RC is the collector resistance and RE is the emitter resistance. So to solve this we uh, we have to solve this circuit and we have to make a simple circuit which is known as Thevenin's circuit. This circuit is the Thevenin's equivalent of uh, the upper one, this one. Here RTH is calculated by using the value of R1 and R2 which are parallel combinations. So RTH in this circuit is equal to R1 parallel to R2 which is equal to R1 R2 upon R1 plus R2 and VTH is given by the voltage division formula. It is given by R2 upon R1 plus R2 into VCC. So putting these values here we have to find out the operating point of the circuit. Now to find out the operating point we have to first apply uh, calculate IB. So apply karenge KVL in the input loop. VCC say RC base RTH uh, sorry let us calculate VCE first in this 
circuit. So, uh, output loop K will in the output loop, it will start from VCC collector resistance RC emitter RE. So, the equation will be formed. Okay, so, the equation will be uh, this. It will be VCC minus the drop in RC minus the drop in uh, collector and emitter junction minus the drop in resistance RE. So, VCE will come out to be VCC minus IC RC minus IE RE. So, now we will calculate IC and IE. Once uh, I calculate IB and IC, uh, we know what is IE. Let's apply cable in the input loop. Now, input loop uh, will have will start from VTH. In input loop, we are having VTH. So, starting from VTH, RTH, then emitter, emitter resistance back to the source is the input loop. So, the cable will be VTH minus IB RTH minus VBE minus IERE is equal to 0. This will be the second equation and we have calculated IB with the IB I can calculate IC which is equal to beta IB. This is when I got IC and IB I can calculate VC putting the values of IC and uh, IE here. So this is how we can calculate the operating point of this circuit.